Welcome back everyone to the probably the final episode on Let's Play Strategic Command World War I as the Central Powers. And it's been a very successful run. We have pushed we have pushed hard and we have pushed far away from our homes to the homes of our enemies. That's my that's my best Winston Churchill. Um, yeah, so it looks like we'll probably be able to start taking everything in Russia after this turn. I'm expecting to see a French capitulation when we hit end turn, and we're pulling all our navy back. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what the result of that all, excuse me, what the result of that all is. Uh, yeah, so um, let's just hit end turn. I know that there might be some things left to do, but I'm actually completely okay if this is a shorter, a shorter video. I mean, God forbid I have one video in the entire series, which is less than 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm on episode two. Oh, okay, there, there it is. <laughs> France surrenders. We plundered 1,400 points. <laughs> Holy crap. That's not fair. They survived. Greek forces mobile. <laughs> Your timing, my dear friends, could not be worse. Latvian rifles detachment mobilized to defend Riga. Greece joins the Entente. Well, we kind of position forces for it. That's honestly one of the things I should have done. Central powers liberate Algeria. Wow. One of the things I should have done is <clears throat> operate a few more German units over to the Greek area. The Ottomans must be so happy. They're getting their empire back. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this. Uh, there's so many interesting things going on. Welsh miners and railway workers go on strike. They probably just decide that we should become best friends with the Germans at this point because France has fallen. You've picked the wrong, you've backed the wrong horse. German action on the distant blockade line disrupts, interrupts the flow of nutrient commercial shipping destined for Germany. So I think that's because we have a submarine up there, but I'm okay with that. Nicholas II becomes commander-in-chief of Russia's armed forces. Uh, it's a desperate times, isn't it? Desperate times. Socialists from throughout Europe meet at Zimmerwald in Switzerland. Hmm, things are ramping up. We developed trench warfare level one. Industrial technology level three. Oh my god. Like we need it. Uh, command and control level two for Austria. Hungary is very good. And improved infantry warfare development. We'll take it. Improved industrial technology development. All these things happening at the end, we won't be able to make any use of them. I was really hoping... 840, that's still a ton. I was, I was really hoping that they would take a pinch of our plunder, but no. So... Ah, I mean, the war's not over, right? In theory. <laughs> Enemy contact happened? What? What's going on? Yeah, our battleship stuck out there is probably going to survive? Okay, yeah. It was good. The, the, seeing the Greeks run into our forces right away instills me with a lot of confidence. We pretty much only needed to hold for one turn. We'll be able to react very strongly to um, their entrance into the Entente. Good old Marseille down there. <laughs> oh, wow. A zero four. Four points off that light cruiser. Oh, perfect. We did some damage to something else with our naval mines. Oh, wow, that was a 3-4 against a Dreadnought. Oh, that must have been an airship, a blimp. Ah, interceptors! It did work! We got him! Oh, but my interceptors are only at 5? Well, we gotta get those, fix those. Alright, they're artillery the crap out of my Ottomans. It was a 1-3, 1-4. One three. Oh three. <laughs> one three. Oh two. One two. Everything is just working so nicely now. I think the higher trench warfare is really starting to take its effect. At this point you would just I think you just simply would need Um Oh we're getting to the point where we might need tanks, but I was gonna say you need artillery. Uh yeah, I think that this does not look too threatening. 
the Greek border. We'll see what they do. <laughs> they just entrench. Get us out of here. My good sir, you may have picked the wrong time. Russian morale is affected by French by the French defeat. That's not good for the Russians. They already had terrible morale. Italian morale is affected. Fighting breaks out in Petrograd, huh? Norway complains at Entente attacks on their merchantmen. That's right. And the Central Powers, it's just everything's swinging our way, right? And we're, even, <laughs> we're still doing well. Russian government loses control as disorder. What? Tsar Nicholas II abdicates and a provisional government is formed. Are you serious? Alexander Kerensky becomes Minister of War in the new Russian government. Leon Trotsky returns to Russia from exile? Is it happening? Kerensky's appointment boosts in Russian national morale. Okay, now... It's all happening a little early, if you ask me. 1915? Oh, it's September. We're almost to 1916. So the only combat losses summary is that Van was damaged from bombing. All right, we were able to disrupt 16 points for the Italians. I mean, the fact that the Italian morale has fallen below, oh, that's wonderful. That's actually wonderful. This is really wonderful. And it comes, hey, it comes with infantry weapon one. Fantastic. Oh, wait. This is what I purchased, not like a reinforcement. Yeah, I don't know where I'll put it. I'll right-click away for now, and eventually we'll get to the... I'm pro I, the I purchased both of these. So none of these are being delivered to me for fun. Um, we're still in position to just move and, I guess, attack. Wow, one to four. Can't get over to that guy. So supply of seven, one to four. Okay, we'll take it. Don't suspect that they're gonna be like ecstatic about the way things are going. Just want to see where I should move them. Okay, move them up. And we can't make it in there, but you know, eventually. Okay, four stars. <laughs> we'll park ourselves in there for now. What is it? Supply of three? Uh, that's pretty bad. Okay, let's move back out then. Uh, let me look. This guy's supply of five. We're, we're getting ten out of that though. Yeah, he's at six, so we can't move him. He has to stay there. Okay, well, fair enough. Wow, we can do a lot of damage to that guy. I think we can kill that. I'm gonna take this. Like what? what's 15 points for disruption in the face of... I did that just so I knew it was clear for this guy to come and do an attack. Okay, fair enough. No, don't do it that way, you big ding dong. Oh, okay. Apparently there's a submarine there now. <laughs> can we do a damage to it? Yes, we can. Very nice. I mean, things are just working out better and better. Two and two. I, if we can move back into port, I think that's worth it. Let's do this instead. Very nice. Oh man, it is really going well. Okay, that's that's a fantastic thing. Um, let let's take a look at that. You know what? I ought to really take a look at the reports right now. UK morale is down to fifty percent. French are out. Italians are down to forty-five percent. Serbians are out. 
Russians down to 23. The U.S. just has does not have a care in the world. Um, we're at 164 percent. Austro-Hungarians are at 123 percent. The Ottomans, <laughs> God love them, <laughs> still at 93 percent despite all the good stuff going on. So we do have this uh, British division that we want kicked out proper. I'm willing to take whatever horrendous, terrible losses to kick, to kick, to kick them out. <clears throat> can we get there? We can. All right, well, that was nice. I was going to say, I don't have any air interceptors here. This is a little bit dangerous, but yeah, we found their the foes. Now, Aosta... Aosta is actually Italian, okay. So we'll push forward here. Two to two. Uh, let me look. Seven, so we can move one guy here. So that will mean that that guy is at a ten now. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, 6 is not great, but it's, you know, it's fine. It's good enough. And then, same thing, 6 probably here, so that we can actually... I think I will move this guy over. Let's find out where everyone else can move first. Lots of healing and stuff to do as well, probably. Anybody who needs to be upgraded should be upgraded before we do anything else. Well, everyone's looking okay. All right, so let's just take the time to... Anybody who wants it. Anybody who doesn't get it is just, just going to be shipped off. It's your warning. <laughs> like, I mean, we have, too, we have too many points. <laughs> we don't even know what to do with ourselves. Why is this in purple? scares me. Um, okay, let's move this guy here, this guy here, this guy here, this guy here, and purple, purple, purple. I don't know. I don't understand it, but that's fine. I have a couple units that we can move. I don't... I mean, it doesn't look like we really need to do much against the Greeks. We've already won. We have kind of left our... left our defenses, though. But is that really even a problem? I don't know. I don't think so. We can go after this submarine. Aren't you... Well... Wasn't very successful, but I guess we can just keep annoying them. Damn it! Why did you just do that? Why did you do that? Whatever. Stupidest, stupidest, most incompetent decision I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna operate. Can you make it though? You can make it anywhere. Wow. I mean, the interesting thing is gonna be going over here. Riga's rifles have been... Oh, wow. We're doing one to three with a detachment against a detachment. That's pretty impressive. Healing to do over there. Oh, my gosh. A zero to four. It's just... A... It's absurd. Um... Oh, my gosh. Well, like, we have, we have so many shells. There's no point... I, I honestly don't know what we should be doing with this recon guy. I don't know if it's worth it to even spot because his entrenchment is three, but we already have a one to six on him. If we do three attacks, it's just, I mean, it's gonna be just death. Yeah, okay, he took a hit. We went down to two out of three. His morale's below 48%. Do one more, I guess. Okay, he's down to one out of three entrenchment. It's down to a one and seven. It's not looking good. We'll do one more. Okay, no entrenchment, blah, 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 one to seven. 
maybe we can just get away because this guy is just on fire. He's ready. To, he's ready to hurt somebody. Two to five, even. Jeez, I mean, these guys are really ready to go. Whereas all of my Austro-Hungarians need to be healed, and I guess we have a lot of points. It's funny. I've been just goofing around. Um, okay, let's let's pull back from here because we're causing issues. And that's your only movement, huh? Okay. Thirteen action points. I need to make sure that this person can get away. Okay. From there. I don't think they're. I don't think they're doing anything anymore. Submarines are finding no sign of them. So I think I'll put this guy back over here. That's far enough away that it shouldn't have affect that. And then we have a unit here. We can continue to patrol. Oh, enemy contact. Not a concern. Ah, well, we're stuck there. That's not ideal. But that's fine. Make do. Yeah, I think that they're all gone. I think... Not that they're dead, but... I'm pretty sure that... All the British have fled the area. And we'll just see if they have a proper retreat rel uh, route. Looks like it. Let's get you back home, sir. We'll bring our battleships out at the same time. And our submarine. Okay, our submarine we'll bring over here, though, because we do want... It's kind of nice to know what's going on over here, <laughs> first of all. Apparently we went right through our own mine, which is stupid, but submarines have a very, uh, lower chance to hit mines, and then even lower if it's your own. Yep, we are, we are already doing a lot of damage. Oh, so I think we can... Okay, let's do this wisely. Ooh, a Dreadnought. Let's tag it. And then let's just keep getting the hell out of here. Mm. Ah, okay, you can't do that. Okay. Fair enough. I think this is an okay place to leave him. We're pulling out, but we have one destroyer. Can he get... Yeah, he can make it all the way here. You can get this one up here. Not like that, you big ding-dong. There we go. Um, this battleship is gonna move... here. Leave that one there, so we have some protection for ourselves. I think this dreadnought's probably wounded. You know, we can't see, but it's fine. This is a good enough spot for our, that submarine. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um, and let's just let's pull the whole fleet back. It's gonna be easier to deal with. Just bring them all home. Even the light cruisers that aren't wounded, but they don't need to occupy the port. In fact, I guess we don't need to bring them all the way back home if, if they, especially if they have ten supply. This guy is ten supply. This guy's ready to. He's rearing for a fight. Oh, that's right. He's <laughs> he just got out here. We'll leave him hanging about. A nine out of ten. Well, look. First of all, now that we can safely say that passage home is clear, let's get our just dreadnought in port. Our let's get our dreadnought into port. I also want to get our battle cruiser. Ooh, he can make it all the way here. Let's do that. A nice strike range from there. Armored cruiser cannot make it home. Well, if they can't make it home, we might as well put them in the port over here next turn. So we'll do that. Battleship, fall back a little bit. Destroyer does need to be repaired. What's our next priority, though? Probably not this battleship. Can't make it home anyway, so same difference. Move these guys down to 
<clears throat> to do it, they'll be on the, the ports over here because those are not occupied yet. Light cruiser, I actually think I want my destroyer import of all things. So we can heal that next turn. Can you make it? Oh yeah, you can make it all the way over there, which is good. And destroyer, I don't think we're going to have to worry about the Russian fleet, <laughs> that they're going to have some particularly big issues. And this is nice, we'll have somebody kind of guarding the straight. Uh, keep moving that guy back. And that's it. Good. So we have our submarines out patrolling. Really wish that guy wasn't stuck in there, but it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, I don't think we have any reason for this guy to be here at all, other than to just look threatening, menacing, show our air power. Yeah, we might even move some troops back out to the east. So, hmm. I mean, the, uh, the, so, the Russians are just collapsing. They're just collapsing. I mean, look at this. Did they pull back? We, we didn't have this much territory, did we? We might even be able to kill Proskorov without using... Yeah, I think we can kill Proskorov without using... Um... Uh, these guys without the infantry warfare upgrade. So it was a 2-5 instead of a 1-4. It's perfectly okay. 1-2, okay, I think I'll take this then. This guy's gonna take some damage. We'll have this Proskrov fellow move in. Uh, we'll upgrade these two. Anybody else need upgrades? No. Anybody else need... No, really none, nobody at all. I think we will still just take some time to heal all those units. I think like any unit that needs healing at this point, we should just pull them off and do the healing. Ooh, wow. Take it on the air recon. Absolutely. Because <clears throat> these guys are about to get a lot stronger. <laughs> I mean, we're about to ship a whole bunch of people over here. This guy is to entrenchment 203. Look, it will just send him here. And he'll bombard next turn. All right, how impressive are these defenses? Two out of four, that's pretty good. Better than I expected. Okay, it went one to three. And that went O to two, which is good. So I don't think we want to push any further. Probably want our, yeah, I think we want this HQ to move forward to give us a supply of 10 there. And so as much as I want this guy to help out with the Lebao situation, I think that we're just going to let him defend the flank. So let's do this. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't going to attack this guy, but because he presented himself. Now we're still um, we're controlling the area. Zone of control, right? We're controlling the area around our HQ so that he's not an easy target. He's in an area with six, which means the next turn... The supply is going to become a 10 here, which means good stuff for our people um, on the front with Riga. And we have this forward unit to keep our flank preserved. Things are just looking extremely good. I can't, it's, I can't even fat, I just, we earned it, right? We earned it, we worked really hard um, in the beginning of the game to set up a really good situation at the end of the game. So that's what happened. Let's start deploying these guys to the, the eastern front. Wow, you can deploy even here. Fantastic. Okay, <laughs> let's just show up on the door then. <laughs> no, let's show up on the doorstep. He could go to 10, but he can't because um, he's not in high enough supply. Nonetheless, where? I mean, this is so awesome. We can just put them where we want. I'm gonna put them here. And who else? I think one of the HQs now. It's time for these guys to get going. What I want to do is still get these guys some supply. Okay. 
This guy's at a 10. Why is he? Because of the 6. Yeah, right. So this guy's the one. Van Kluck. Van Kluck. He's gonna... Oh, he can't because he's not on the rail. Well, that kind of solves it. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a pain. He's going to have to get his supply from Bordeaux next turn. He'll be at a 5. So that'll boost this up to an 8, which means this is a 7. 6, 5, 4. Not great. Supply will not be great. <laughs> this guy needs to return the rails so that he can get supply as well. You can ship out. Good. Cavalry, oh, it's really useful for scouting. I was thinking about putting this guy down to overrun the Greek stuff, but the Greek area is so small that I think I'm going to put him up here so that we have better scouting. So you can put him anywhere around the town or anywhere along the rail. Or is it just anywhere along any rail? So maybe it's any hex adjacent to the rail. No, not always. Um... I don't, want to disco I don't want to discover any new territory, so we'll put them there. Is there anybody else? No, I mean, we need a few units to take over. I mean, gosh, it's just, it's just so bad for the... <laughs> it's so bad for the Italians. At this point, we're now on the offensive. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, well, I probably do need to pause. This has all been so piecemeal. Let me just pause and figure out the rest of the stuff I want to do. Or, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to drive home very quickly. Let's do this. And I think we'll move forward. Yeah, one to seven. Attachment took it. Went down from six to four. Um, I think I will push forward and threaten. Move this guy here, this guy here, own two, we'll take it. Should I cut off? Yeah, I think I will because this guy can move here and kill him. And this guy might be able to, he can move in. So Grodno is, actually, can you move forward anymore? No, zero action points. So we need this guy to move down. We, well, somebody. We do want to protect our units. Oh, that th this should work. I don't think he's gonna retreat out of there, but. Get up to the front. All right, good, we're just slowly working our way up there. I mean, two to five, I just have a hard time not taking that. Ended up being a two to four, still not bad. The Austro-Hungarians will return to action next turn, so. Let's see if this is a five. That's probably still the best, having this guy at an eight, so we'll leave it. There's a nice little push there. Um, yeah, you know what? Oh my god, no undo. <laughs> I did not want him to actually move there. I, <laughs> I really wanted him to just scout somewhere. It says zero, zero. I mean, should we see if any reinforcements are coming? That's what I'm most interested in. Uh, no, no reinforcements are coming. This is a 10, but I think that's because this HQ was there last turn. I think this is still going to be a 10, which means this would be a 9. I, I think I'm okay with that, just to have a little bit better range. Moving one more area forward. Let me undo. Because this guy's going to make this a 10, right? Yeah, 10. So this is a 9. So, we, eh, you know what? This will be a 9. We'll move closer to the HQ next turn. Um, yeah, so this is good. 1 to 5. Oh my gosh, it's just going to be a slaughter up here. We'll take the one to five. End up being a two to five. Oh wow. Okay, well, that works. And I think we should keep pushing over here. Honestly, what I'd like to do is move the entire Austro-Hungarian force as like army group south. 
And so, because we're gonna have so many Germans pouring into the front line now that they don't need to, we don't need to split the Austro-Hungarians up. Could probably use all their forces down here. Anyway, for now, um, it would be nice to see what's going on. So let's just move him here. We don't want to outrun our lines. Okay, so what does this mean? There is a unit. here, which is occupying these two, and then this one's getting these. So the zone of control, you can see, is here, 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 here. So there's one in Zitomir, and that's it. Which means, really, there's not a well, not a lot of units left. Um, this guy needs to be uh, upgraded and all that, so the best unit for... Oh, this is also cavalry. Had I known that, this guy would move there, and the other cavalry would have moved. Yeah, the other cavalry would have moved south, but that's fine. I want to make sure that our HQ ends up in a place where six will become. Oh, yeah, so this is six, so we can move them here. Good. Uh, can you be upgraded? Yes. All the upgrades. We'll do this upgrade as well. And you cannot get where we want you to go, but you'll move forward nonetheless. You have attacked already, so might as well move you forward. Yeah, just move you like that. And we'll move you along as well. Great. You are available to move as well. You'll be reinforcing. Okay, good. We're in good shape. I mean, it's just it's just full push on in every every direction now. Uh, and we already did this. There's no partisans in Scutari, so we'll move this guy in. He'll be prepared to attack with the rest of them. We'll leave the Pristina and Belgrade just in case of partisans, so they'll stay and defend. I'm it, honest. It's a little bit weird, but I'm still thinking of actually holding with Ragusa. Somebody here to react to potential invasion. Okay, so we can do an upgrade here. Uh, I, I misplayed this. I should have rotated this guy. That's fine. It's, it doesn't matter too much, but... This guy can't get upgraded anyways. He needs to be reinforced. This guy needs to be reinforced. Okay, well... Do the swap here, and do the swap here. That guy cannot be reinforced this turn. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's fine, though. This entrenched unit might take some hits. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Entrenchment 3, Entrenchment 2. I don't think they're going to be able... Look, they're all wounded. Never mind. They can't do anything. In fact, we can probably... No, we can't do damage either. Oh, heavens. Take it back. Take it all back. We can do a lot of damage. Five damage. If we hadn't moved this unit, we could actually, if we hadn't, like, chose to heal this unit, could have easily killed that division, core, whatever. Okay, um, we're done with the Russian front, I think. We're done with the naval side of things. We're done with France. France is going to become a lot easier to deal with now. We have this situation. I think this is really a bite and hold situation. True trench warfare, really. So, not a whole lot to, to say, not a whole lot to do, I think. Probably just gonna heal. This unit can go and defend Vaughn now. Supply is pretty good. This unit's the only one who's lower than six. I might nine eight seven six. I think I'm gonna move this guy up here so we have a little bit better supply mm, closer to the, where a lot of the fighting is going on. So 
So this guy's going to still have a 6, because mm, this is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. The Vaughn guy is going to be kind of screwed, but it'll be at 4 next turn, so it'll be at 4. It's not great, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think that they're going to attack down here. So th these guys will just entrench. They're probably not moving for the rest of the game. Yeah, those are going to be very, very hard to defeat, I would say. Yeah, I mean, everything is looking solid here. I'm just going to entrench. Um, I mean, one to three is something. I got a one to four instead as well. Swap. Wow, we got him. I didn't see the national morale thing, which means that his supply was probably at 5, 4 or lower, and he would have not done well. This guy's at supply of 6, so yeah, this guy must be at supply of 7 in order to give this guy a supply of, or maybe 8 in order to give this guy a supply of 5, is that? Yeah, if this guy's at a supply of 6, then this guy probably would, could be at supply of 6. At worst case scenario, he'd be at supply of 5, so that means this one's at 9. Or this one's at nine to give this guy six. So anyway, we well, still still remove that core. They'll have to rebuild it, and I don't think the Russians are going to be rebuilding much. We'll continue our drive towards Iraq. Zoom zoom. This is a really strong force. <laughs> um, they're losing morale, but is it doing anything? I have four. Okay, I think it's time. Yeah, it's gonna get him. National morale. Got him. That was great. So we noticed that he was low morale. I mean, low supply. We took him out. We might actually be able to take this area as well. I mean, nothing is going poorly. Everything is going our way. It's 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 really absurd. So, heal is the name of the game. Nobody needs to heal. We actually have an abundance of forces. I mean, this is just insane. We're marching out. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty confident about everything. Okay, um, what else? Anything else? I, it looks like we will go one more episode. I, I, I feel it's kind of fun now because we're destroying them so completely. Um, although we do have the play-by-email stuff going on with Agrippa. By the way, um, I mentioned this in my second video, but just for those of you who are going to immediately start watching the on Tom playthrough, play by email with uh, Agrippa. Um, no spoilers, of course, but even if you decide to watch from both perspectives, um, obviously you can't really give advice. Like you can't say what you should do or not at that point. You kind of, you either have to commit to watching from one side, and then you can try to armchair general. But even if you watch from Agrippa's side and not from mine, I, I strongly recommend that you don't give him a lot of advice because let's not overwhelm Agrippa. Let's just, um, uh, basically in the Rule of Wave series I recently did, a lot of people were overwhelming, for example, XTRG with, I mean, we're so analytical on my channel that, um, I embrace that, I'm fine, but it's a, it's way too much for most people, including, I, I imagine, or at least let's assume Agrippa, um, so let's not, let's not estrange all these other fellow YouTubers <laughs> from me. They don't want to ever play a game because then they're going to get like the Tortuga crowd. Um, THG and uh, XTRG were kind of joking about that. The, the Tortuga crowd coming in with their analytical solutions. Anyways, I think this episode's done. And we can do another one. Didn't really do anything over here. But a lot of healing going on. We're healing the wounds. Yeah, but I mean that we're just doing a lot of reinforcement. And 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know what else I should be doing. <laughs> I feel like that's all I can do. Oh, well, I okay, oh my god. We have a lot of points to spend. <laughs> okay, so what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We have 1,600. We have 170 available. Um, we have two left and the industrials. I mean, that's already so much. Because the research doesn't go up, I'm not going to put any more in industrial. I guess we should put more in. So we have two in this, even though we have one more to go. We should probably do stuff like that more than we need. Oh, let's get tanks. What the hell? Is there anything else useful to get? Eh, whatever. Let's just get tanks. <laughs> I don't really need anything else. We have Trench Warfare 1. Well, whoop de doo when, Where are the Germans defending? Show me. <laughs> Nowhere. Okay. Um, probably could use an extra point in this one. Although, man, you guys are low. You have the good stuff going on. Yeah, I honestly think... Oh, yeah, we gotta do this instead. Are we even doing those for the Germans? Yeah, in theory. Okay. Yeah, all the important stuff being done here as well. I still think this would be nice to get, but look, it's not nothing. None of this matters. None of it's gonna finish in time. So we'll put it into spying and intelligence. We can get two points in that if we want. Let's do it. And now, production. And this is where things are going to be a little bit absurd. It's got a new HQ. Um, we got a leader who has a strength of 9, which is insane. We could get another leader, but we don't need to. Let's get um, one of those at 13-14. Get a core. I want a mountain core. We don't have any of those left. Artillery? Yeah. Let's get artillery. It's going to cost... 315, we'll purchase it. Um, no, we have a real gun actually coming. It's one of our reinforcements at some point. I still like the idea of getting a lot of battle cruisers and then more submarines. We need to do something to get more submarines, I think, right? Because it won't let us get any more. We have no more build limit. <laughs> okay, well, then I guess we're stuck. 738. Buying more cores? Yeah, honestly, I think the cores just to fill the front, it's not a bad idea. Five oh one? I mean, I don't know what else to do. What else do you do with your money? Build another battle cruiser? Nah, we're fine. Just build another core. Got one HQ. Yeah, let's do this. Did we get the detachment to have true weapons? I guess it doesn't matter. They're going to sit in some port and not do anything, but we'll build one more of these. 185. We'll leave it. Oh, yeah. We have ones we haven't even deployed yet. So they can't deploy anywhere Im interesting immediately. I'll probably have to deploy them and then operate them to the places. Or just deploy them here. Maybe he'll... Um, wow, more cavalry. That's right, because we lost some in the very beginning. Well, this one makes sense. We deploy them here. Okay. Then, that's it. Alright, we'll do one more episode of this. So, <laughs> that was a pretty quick episode. I mean, definitely quick by my standards. Alright, well, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. I mean, we can always do it at the beginning of next episode, but... Trying to cut down on that as much as possible. We could ford across, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, we're, I mean, the Russians should collapse soon. Okay, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care!